All right. So guys, you can see it is fairly dark in here. We're going to try to illuminate this, this setup and, uh, yeah, let's, let's get the camera started here. All right. Let's walk through this. I'm going to try to, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to see how this goes. I'm going to illuminate the top edges and the diagonal lines as much as possible along with this wheel, along with the, the iron wheel right in the middle. I want to kind of give that the centerpiece and uh, have it stand out. So let's, let's start with this and see what happens. I'm going to lay off the shiny parts initially because we get some reflective light that actually hits. There we go. We got just a little there. We get some reflective light off of the other, the other pieces that kind of illuminate it. So you can kind of run into the danger of overexposing metallic or really reflective pieces if you do that first. That's really the, the light sensitive items. The darker items you can kind of fill in initially and, and work from there. Let's see there. Hopefully we won't, we won't bump anything. Some of these things are kind of fragile the way they're set up. Okay, what do we got? It's kind of slowly coming together. Very slowly, I should say. And yeah. Like that. Get some of these bolts. Just get that and work that diagonal line. Work the diagonal lines, the corners. sharp edges and we're just gonna kind of slowly fill some of this stuff in see what we got and some of it's there we are definitely down over here down over on the left We'll start a little bit of the wheel with the round subject. This is an old sewing machine. I don't know, probably in the early 1900s, maybe even before that. Early 1900s, man. We're going to try to fill in the background at the very end. We're going to go with that. So we'll probably do a save if we can. We'll do a save. Oh, wow, that's kind of looking cool. We're going to do a save before we fill in the background. Anything you can kind of reduce your mistakes in doing this. Meaning if you don't have to have it exposed, leave that for the last. Leave that part of the last of the exposure. You know, background, it's a nice additive. It can give the atmosphere. But what we're going to do before we expose the background, we'll probably save this image a few times before we even get over that, before we even start with the background. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, wow. Kind of looks cool, guys. Kind of looks cool. Let's keep at it. Let's just start exposing the same stuff. Just kind of this, the same pattern we went off of. Just a little bit lighter, a little bit more exposed. And the other thing you gotta worry about is not bumping anything. And it's pure dark, when it's so dark, you gotta worry about tripods, just bumping uh, the subject, moving stuff around. Because once you do that, you start to get that blurry image. And that ruins the whole show that can ruin a 15 minute hour long exposure and that's bad news it really is kind of frustrating if you really overexpose one or two things and you've been at it for a while and you got a really nice photo 
and then all of a sudden it just goes it just goes south on you just happens to go south on you all right let's see what we got let's see what we have yeah i'm liking that i'm liking that from a standpoint of wow it's very dynamic or or dramatic dramatic lighting we're going to do a little bit more exposure i'm going to hit the back and i'm really going to start lighting up playing around with the exposure on the metal pieces to see what we get to shine a little bit more outline light a little bit more outline light there we go let's kind of really work that in i'm gonna work this little metal piece over here as well and uh yeah the closer you get this light it's like an inverse squared type of situation um it becomes like what three times three times brighter for every little inch or every foot you move in and so you have to be careful you have to kind of be cognizant of how far the light is away from your subject and once you get that down that foot foot and a half of the light then you can rework and if you want it to be brighter you get in really close if you want to shine something you get real close and hit it for about the same amount of seconds and it will start shining up yeah that looks that looks pretty cool that looks pretty cool i'm gonna hit the bottom the bottom of the sewing machine right around here just give it a little bit more detail we're gonna hit everything but that is kind of mysterious at the same time i'm gonna hit over here too so we got so we have very cool wow you know we don't have it with us but some spider webs would be awesome right now some spider webs would be some really cool stuff but we'll do it with what we have it will still look nice and we'll get this just a little bit more we got this strings we want to illuminate and yeah I might do a save here any second. I'm going to start getting this metal. We'll start getting this metal shined up. And hopefully we didn't mess anything up. Oh, yeah, that's coming out. That's coming. It's coming out there. Looking pretty good. And let me see. I'm looking at the screen. Maybe lower, lower hand, right side. We're going to keep working on this. We'll keep working on this, guys. This is the cool piece. This, I like studio flash photography, don't get me wrong, but light painting is just so incremental. And it feels like you're doing something every second. You got to watch out what, what you're doing, but man, you can get, you can get highlights like there is no tomorrow can really make things shine all right let's see what we have oh yeah so we got that light I'm gonna give it a little more top-down light because I like top-down light I like the dramatic pieces of that but yeah I'm gonna put it a little bit more light to the right and left and probably do a save and then from there on out we'll work on the background all right we're gonna lighten this metal up just a little bit more from up above give it that dramatic casting light and then a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left and i'm going to see if i can see anything that is missing i'm just going to bathe it off a little bit more okay what do we got what do we got what do we got starting to come alive guys that is pretty cool so the question is do i risk let me let me save this i'm going to save this save and then I'm gonna start it back up again that's a good point right there to save and then everything else from here is all risk it can kind of only go downhill or it can look a little bit better but if I really try to push this photo and do the background or other pieces like lighten up that metal I might lose the feeling of this this image this image might just go away it might just look horrible if I mess up the background too bright Again, I might miss I, I might miss that mystery in this photo, but yeah, let's let's try. Let's go a little bit lighter here, 
and then I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to go to the background a little bit. I'm going to lighten this up just a little bit more. I'll probably save this as well. Probably hit the save on this. And what do we got? What do we got? Okay, cool. You're good. We're saving. And that looks, I don't know, looks pretty good. I'm going to lighten up just a little bit more and then we're going to hit the background. I can always play with a little, some of these things in post. I can make it a little bit more contrasty. I can do some vignetting to give it a little bit more mystery. I can do all that kind of stuff. All right, we're going to, all right, we're going to really get on this. Why not? What do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah, now it's coming alive. It's getting a little more depth when I'm hitting those little cogs and some of those wheels in there. Let's do that. Let's do that again. I didn't even notice that. These little pieces, these little wheels over here. It's kind of cool. And that, and here we go. Here we go. What do we got? What do we have? What do we have? That looks good. That looks good. Save that one as well. Boom, boom. Now, here's the risk part. I don't know what this is going to look like with background, with the background lit up, but we're going to play with it. I might light up the wheel just a little bit more, give it a little bit more shine. Come on, a little bit more shine. Get it in there. That's where you get that light really tight and close in there. And that is going to make it shine. It's going to be brighter than the rest of the stuff. It's all doing a comparison. Doing The, the sensor is doing a comparison against what else is dark in the image. And with that being said, that's a saver. It's about as bright as I want to go. Now, do another save. Now, let's, um, let's do the... I want to make sure we're doing a screen capture. Yes, we are. Now let's do the background. <laughs> this is always this is always kind of the tough part. I don't know. This is a funny thing. You just got to play with it. I might have to get out a brighter light because we're hitting that inverse square law. Where, if I'm correct, I can't remember. It's the old physics, right? Inverse square of light and refraction and brightness and we're going to see